Good day. Today's video is a recap of the FinOps X show in San Diego last week. This is the third year of the show and J.R. Stormont and his team did not disappoint. There's a lot of material to cover. So for this video, I'll just include the major announcements, the highlights of the keynotes, but leave the content from the sessions and the chalkboard discussions for another video. So let's get started. So the key takeaways from this year's FinOps X show for you, the senior IT finance and management executive, is that the landscape of reducing cloud costs is ever changing and you need to keep pace with it. From measuring new technologies, such as containers and AI build outs, to measuring your carbon footprint while driving business value and controlling costs. Cost, carbon, and AI. Cost because it directly affects profitability. Carbon because cloud resources effectively are electricity. So the more you can use them efficiently, the less money you're going to spend and the less carbon footprint you'll have. Decisions are made on business value. You're being asked to drive innovation while controlling costs. We heard from a Disney executive about Bob Iger's mandate to reduce the cost of delivering streaming media because, as all of us, they're in a very competitive environment and they want to improve profitability. We also heard that forecasting was very important. Why? Because it brings together FinOps reporting, the knowledge of the business objectives, and the goals that you're moving towards. Focus 1.0 general release was announced, and it represented a huge effort by the FinOps Foundation to deliver. We heard from GitLab as to how they use Focus to standardize cost reporting across all of their cloud platforms. Representatives from Fidelity and the three cloud vendors discussed how they're supporting Focus how that it's important to turn on the focus data feeds and start getting familiar with using the tool and see how it normalizes costs across multiple platforms. On day two, JR hosted a discussion with finance executives from a few of the Fortune 500 companies, including American Express. Forecasting kept coming up as a top priority in 2024, and forecasting usage of containers and generative AI costs was concern to all the speakers. Mike Fuller, the CTO of FinOps, talked about tooling and the services ecosystem. A lot of day two had to do with how you deliver FinOps using the tools. There was also announced the licensing and SaaS disciplines, as well as the FinOps tools and services discipline. The cloud practitioner certification cost was cut in half to help encourage more people to get certified. And then all three cloud providers announced how they are delivering FinOps services, new features and functions, and most importantly, how they're adhering to focus. There's really too much to discuss about the cloud platform features and functions, so I'll save that for the next video. Well, that wraps today's video. If you like what you saw, please hit the subscribe button.